I think you just took the effect. Yeah. But I'm needing this next one. By yeah. Weber707. He gave it a 2. I, I don't understand the hype. This novel is boring. I skipped several hours before something interesting happened. Again, people just misunderstand the entire story of DDLC because... This dude just... Did this, did this dude just skip to the end or something? I think he, he just probably sk did. skipped the entire portion of the story and he was all like, Hmm... Why is this girl suddenly in the void with me? Yeah. Yeah, it's a boring version of Like, bro bro had like 50,000 times the this, this speed skip button. Like, bro wasn't letting go of control. But when does this game get fu- But yeah, I think a lot of people again just misinterpret the story of DDLC quite heavily. Like, the- The point of DDLC is not meant for you to have a choice where everyone gets a happy ending again. But more of the point, this guy is saying that nothing interesting happens. Act one is meant to lure you into a false sense of security. Like even the it music just, is a example. Of this. Like just hook you in, right? Like it meant like for you to be hooked in to be like thinking, yeah, this is a normal visual novel. No nothing bad is gonna happen. Ah, uh, but then in act two, like all of a sudden, just just you really just does a uh, pulls a virgin on you, Virgil on you. She separates man with devil with the strength of the Yamato. Nah, bro, she separates horniness from woman with the strength <laughs> of the kitchen knife. Yep. But, like, even the main theme and all this, like, it's meant to be just comp cutesy. I'm gonna, like, show it. Bro, why is Yuri looking up Sayo's skirt? What the hell? By the way, something kind of funny is, like, if you look at Yuri's feet, she actually has two right feet. Wait, what the hell? Look at, like, look at Yuri's feet. What? <laughs> what the f- I think this was just she like a coloring mistake Dan made. She a mutant, bro. She a mutant. That she used the gold orb to recuperate. <laughs> <laughs> she used the gold orb. Mm -hmm. But again, like, well, on the point, like, the music in game is meant to be like, at first, incredibly cutesy, but like, something that's really cool apologies uh, is that uh, in act 2 the music actually gets glitched oh, hold on dude this shit this shit this beat is actually kind of fire hold on yep i know the beat is actually quite cool but like, For like a dating simulator looking ass, it, the soundtrack is actually like pretty good, what the hell? Okay, are we gonna read the next review or no? Yep, let's uh, read the next one. Bye. Uh, we're not reading this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're reading this one. Bye. Yep. Greg Lobster, he gave it a 1. I really don't see what people find on special about this game. Characters are very generic, non-slapping soundtrack. What? Excuse you? The entire soundtrack is a banger, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I have the entire goddamn soundtrack right here. You have Good Morning Sayori. You have Dreams of Love and Literature. Like, bro, all this shit, it just slaps. It, it, it literally just slaps. Well, what the hell? Not really many, vo uh, not really many choices you get to make, so it's really even a game. Bruh. Uh, and it has a super generic plot twist that everyone finds super shocking and uh, and new. This game didn't invent br invent breaking the fourth wall. There are so many games that do the whole fourth thing better, like Undertale or Danger. Danger. What the hell is this? Which is infinitely better with better visual novel. This was one of the most boring games I've ever played. First of all, what do you mean there's no slapping soundtrack? And second of all, just because there are not many choices, I don't think that's not, that's a bad game. Again, it's kind of meant like you can't save everyone, I guess you could say, in the game. Like, no matter what you do, there's gonna be a sad ending. It's just the least sad option of the endings. So again, even then, this can be taken as action act like, a virtue of the game, I guess you could say, or a positive. Don't you find it funny how everyone just like bitches and moans about like how this game has apparently like no choices? They should go. 
Like this game has plenty of. Honestly, uh, they should go like place uh, those interactive movies. Not gonna lie. If they want, if, if they want choices, then go play fucking. What was it? Walking Dead or something? I don't know. Any Telltale tell game. game, yeah. But like, even then, how can you say it's generic and predictable? I guess you could say. Who the fuck predicted the ending? Who the fuck predicted Monica deleting like just, everyone? Like just you with Monica just being in the fucking void. Okay, next up uh, by... You're not even reading this one. The, next up by Renan D. Freezy. Oh god. Mm. Alright, he gave her a four. If you are used to anime slash hentai cringe <laughs> or visual novels... Wait, 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 wait. What does he mean by hentai? Bro, there's no fucking hentai in the game, so as far as I know. Like the only thing that comes close is whenever you, st when not, when you make Natsuki stick her finger in your uh, mouth. Like that is the closest thing. Well, there's no nudity in the game. Well, the closest it gets is murder. <laughs> murder. <laughs> I mean, if you consider the nud nudity as a seeing. Yuri's intestine, uh, I, I I guess you can argue yeah, this. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That's a little bit too much nudity, you know? I think a little bit too much. Yeah. I mean, her, I mean, like, that liver a little fine, though. Yeah. I'ma eat the shard of that liver. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get them protein, dude. A lot of protein. Just like the liver king. Freaking steroid yep. abuser. Don't worry, just act natural. Act just natural. Just act natural. Uh, I, I wonder what this R is for. Like, is hentai trademarked? Like, is he trying to like, say hentai trademark cringe? I don't know, dude. The other unpredictable aspect of this game will probably blow your mind. Otherwise, the end will not make up. What? Use you. What? So, how is he spinning this as a negative? <laughs> All right, let's yeah. continue. Three girls are into you. It's actually uh, four. Four of them are into you. All bro. of them. What? Got infinite Riz. All of them are. Infinite Riz. Yep. You have some canonical God Riz yeah. level. Three girls are into you for no reason at all. Wow. The explanation at the end doesn't justify the six hours of that BS. Bro, the game is not even fucking four hours. Like, I'm literally gonna shop Steam right now. The game is literally... I have played the game and completed it three times. That took me four hours. You can beat this game in one hour. Just like, this guy is just lying just about like how long the uh, game is. the skip button and you like speed run the game. I, I wanna add, I didn't, it's, I didn't skip a lot of it. You didn't? On my first playthrough, I barely skipped anything. The game is just quite short on the first playthrough. Act 1 can probably take you barely like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Like, know what you do. An hour at most. If you're trying to be supremely careful just shitting and posting. Shitting and posting. If you're trying to speedrun, you can probably get Act 1 in 7 minutes. Wow. Flat. 7 minutes flat. And even here, like, the explanation they give at the end does not justify it. Like, it completely explains it because the explanation is Monica more or less just explains that all the girls are AI codes that are meant to that are programmed to fall in love with you. Also another airport headcanon theory that I like is actually Monica didn't like uh is still technically influenced by the code in this uh world view I guess you could say since she's still in love with the pl with the MC MC air quote, but given her awareness, instead of falling falling in, in love for the MC, she falls in love with the player. The MC with the density of a fucking neutron star, dude. Yep. I think. Did you steal my yes. joke? I think yes. I saw the joke from him. Maybe. <laughs> God damn it! I'm gonna sue you for. Fuck this. you. By the way, a, a quick rule right now: if someone says Monica is the worst character in the entire game, I will activate Article Article Five, Article of, NATO. five of NATO. Nah, dude, just launch missile, just launch the missile launchers, dude. Missile launchers? No, I'm gonna demonstrate how much NATO can offer. Yeah. Bro. It's time for some target practice. Target if you practice. catch my yeah, dude. We've gotta find them first. 
Dialogues are all the same. Bruh. Wow. Cringy moments to build intimacy? Everyone apologizing for every phrase slash the action. Is he being disingenuous about it? The only one that does do apologizing is just Yuri. She is literally just constantly apologizing for everything. And even then they acknowledge this. As a flaw of her. Damn. He's just making shit up at this Bro, point. look at the next sentence. Look like, uh, looks, look like it was written by someone who has the social skills of a 12 year old. Bro, how the fuck does this game have such a wide following it? If it's just like 12 year olds. I mean, I don't know. If a 12 year old joke. How is this game literally like remarked as like the masterpiece of horror? Dude, I don't know if like uh, uh, any 12 year old would be okay see seeing fucking Sayo uh, hanging. Or uh, Yuri just committing Virgil. I know if a 12 year old, like, how can a 12 year old write Sayori like doing what she does in Act 1? How can a 12 year old, like, write what Natsuki did in Act 2? How can a 12 year old write what Yuri did in Act 2? Like, how can a 12 year old write separating man from devil with the strength of the kitchen knife? You stole my joke as well. <laughs> I know. We're even. Okay, you're reading this one. Like an, like an ear? Uh, give it a zero, okay. Too many teenagers are influenced by this game to go. To go, Suze! Bruh. Nah. Mm -mm. Dude. Not to mention 75% of the time you're just reading text. Too many teenagers are influenced by this game to go suicidal. I wanna Does add this. This dude know what to. What? Like. And you have to go through to actually be suicidal. Like, there is literally no proof of this. Like, whenever you make a claim, you have to back up your claim with like actual evidence. There is no evidence of someone getting fucking depressed because of DDLC. Sure, they can cry a lot because of DDLC. I am an example <laughs> of this. But again, you're not gonna go suicidal, bro. You're not gonna go to suicide. You may get an existential crisis over it again as an yeah. example. <laughs> but uh, that, you're not gonna go suicidal. Dude, and another part is suicide being the thing. Not to saying mention, you go suicidal is like, like it crossing so many lines that I shouldn't even mention. Does this dude know? Like it just feels insulting. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I should say this. Actually, no, I'm not gonna say it. And like even on this point, not to mention 75% of the game you're just reading text. That's like, the fucking point. Like, bro, it's a visual novel. You wanna fucking shoot people? Like, that's like that. You wanna fucking call a duty action game? You wanna go do maternal? You want Dante to show up and start going like wacky woohoo pizza that's man? That's like playing. That's like playing fucking I don't know, like Call of Duty and being upset that you're that 95 percent of the game you're shooting people. Like, that's the point of the game. Like, imagine being angry at Call of Duty for having weapons. Yeah. This is like. This is such a stupid point that I don't even know how someone can make it. Dude, this is just like being upset at a game for trying to be what it wants to be. Why would I be upset at Doom Eternal for being an arena shooter? Genuinely. Like, it's like going to, like, say Devil May Cry 5 and expecting a fucking visual novel. I mean, for all I know. Or like expecting Ace to For all I know, there could be like a visual novel for Devil May Cry. <laughs> Realistically, there might be yeah. one. I'm reading this one by Eddie underscore Nelson. He gave it a zero. Why the fuck are people giving this game a zero? Why are there so many people to give this game a zero? Alright. Simply put, this game has weak characters, no story. I'm about to throw my fucking headphones out of the goddamn window. If I hear this out one more time. It's a visual novel. It's supposed to at least have a good story, right? Well, this visual novel doesn't. There's I'm on the verge of fighting my goddamn dude, headphones out the Dude, way. calm the fuck down. I'm on the verge of active uh, of saying Article 5 of NATO, like I'm on the verge of it, bro. I'm on the verge of getting the fucking call. <laughs> dude, you're on the you're on the There's nothing You're on the verge of uh, uh, sending a fucking doll of Europe. Bro, I'm about to just I'm about to get in that MiG twenty one just Time to test out some weapons, time for some target practice. There's nothing to see, nothing to do, nothing to- NOTHING TO FEEL! NOTHING- Dude, I haven't even played this game, and I actually like- 
kind of somewhat connect with a few and I feel bad for them. What in God's name do you mean like nothing to feel? The sadness isn't an op isn't no. like a feeling? What the hell? I guess this guy just considers feeling like either anger or just laughs. <laughs> this guy must be like the age of like nah, seven. Nah dude, he must be like those seven you know, fucking sigma males. Yep, seven year old sigma male, he just like... Females are awful. Females are awful, only men get me hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the characters aren't developed. Uh, yep. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna talk about this. <laughs> yep. You can barely ma you can barely remember their name. Excuse you. Box of what? Name every single character in this okay, game. Okay, Monica, Yuri, Natsuki, and uh, uh, Sayo. Sayori. I probably like butchered a few names. No, it didn't butcher okay. any name. Uh, you, someone that never played yeah. the game and just knows the names of the characters because I mentioned yeah. them, you can remember yeah. them, right? Pretty much. But this guy cannot remember their names after he played them. I game. guess he didn't look at the little uh, white thingy saying their name. Yeah, I guess he just didn't look at this uh, te text box, I guess you could say. like. I guess it's just incredibly hard, like, to see uh, this, like, white little text, like, right, you see this, like, right, you see this white thing, like, Dude, I'm not blind, I can see it. You sure, man, you sure, I think, I think this might be rocket science. Nah, dude, that shit, that shit's fucking, like, interdimensional fuck calculations or something, beyond the human comprehension. Bro, we're studying, me we're studying metaphysics, we're studying. like, you, like, bring Gentech on this. Call up Gentech, call up NASA, call up, call up SpaceX, we're starting. Oh boy, this this review is... These reviews are awful! Really? You just go through a little piece of boring story. How do you... How the fuck do you put this game story in quotes? Then it abruptly ends with some weird stuff that was just... Meh. Meh. So I guess... So, so I guess I already just like learning to fly. Um, Sayori is learning to levitate with the, the force yeah. of a rope. Uh, Yuri is separating man from devil and Natsuki just fucking, I don't know. How did she die? How, how, how did she die? She, uh, she like dies. I'm gonna show it. Fucking gets like Thanos up or something. This is her death scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how Sayori died. Not, 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 not Sayori, Natsuki. Natsuki. Uh, that, I got confused that, for a second. That's how she, she just fucking flashes at you. With a snap so neck. Fucking scoliosis. She just won, she just won some chiropractic from me. Yeah. And again, pink candy, she just had, <laughs> she <laughs> just <laughs> needed the chiropractic. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, the entire story of the game, yeah, just like, yeah, you can't remember the girl's names. Yeah, there's no feelings in the game. The game just abruptly en ends. Yeah, I can just, just yeah, that ends. Does he mean that like, he only pre played like Act One? That's actually a good question. Wait, <laughs> that's actually a good question. Like Act One ends when Sayori kills herself. Mm -hmm. Did he just play Act One? I think he might have just played Act 1 and taken like the end a little too seriously. I don't know. You you can't make any of your choices you're supposed to enjoy the boring weird stuff that's left. It's like the game hits you and wants you to hate it back, which I do now. What? But this implies he has played through Act 2 and 3. What? So wait, so in half the half the review he says like he hasn't played the he hasn't played all the acts, but now he has. Like this implies he has gone through the this entire. This dude just like water reality or something. Did he like just jump consciousness with another alternate timeline self? I don't know. Did he just break free of the matrix as Andrew Tate would say? Go and ask him, dude. I don't know. Fucking Eddie underscore Nelson. What the hell are you talking about? Alright, you're not playing a game, you're enjoying a good That's the point. You're not enjoying a good story, you're just watching boring stuff on your you're just screen. Not. I'm extremely... How... How...
How is this game boring? On this one, you're gonna have to tell me because, I, like I said, I haven't played it. Like, you saw everything, like, in the entire game. Yeah, pretty much. In fact, like, what I told you, like, in my video of it, like, this video right here. Look at the video right right here. Tell me if the game looks fucking boring. For my standards, a boring game can be like a multiple of things, so I don't know. Like, what the fuck are people's problems in this game, man? You know, no, I'm not reading that one. Alright. By the way, I like how this review was found 2 of 27 users found this. Yeah. Helpful. That's that's really good. Yeah. Okay. Side I like how all the negative reviews are. Side 37. Pretty boring. I decided to play after an everlasting summer, but in terms of quality of the text, this game is not even close. What? Is, is your text the problem? I guess. If text I is. I guess so. I don't know. Like, is he just angry that the text is small or something like base ddlc we're looking at reviews of ddlc the base the free game not the not not like ddlc plus like the text in ddlc the base version is actually bigger than the text of ddlc plus like what do you want the text to do it's a fucking text box you want the option to start fighting demons with the text box you want a rap battle it's rap fucking eminem it's yeah, I just got a mind of this like Scottish like mythology so, thing. Like, there so is like so, wait, 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 evil mermaids wait, on, in Scottish. So this dude's uh, problem with the game is that it's quote unquote boring and the text is low quality. And Dusty, he gave it three. That's so fucking stupid, dude. Yeah. Uh, that's like idiotic. Just because of the text and it's quote unquote boring. Dude, you you sign up like this when you go on uh, the DDLC uh, on Steam. Does it say something like visual novel or something? It literally says a visual novel. What I'm gonna in open God's Steam name right does now. this dude think? It's a f visual fucking novel. What did you expect to fight Batman Satan or something? This is it. It literally says visual novel. I I, I can't see it. Dude. I know. No. Oh, okay. Like you can go on Steam and it literally says visual novel. Like, what the fuck are you expecting from this game? Are you expecting foot person shooter? No offense, no offense, but you sound like a goblin right now. <laughs> you sound like a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the gold, I am under the bridge. <laughs> you sound like a fucking goblin, dude. Like the green goblin, like from this OG Spider-Man. Because if it is, I must, I'ma take it as a uh, compliment. Just like a goblin. Like, probably fucking Clash of Clans or something. <laughs> you uh, know? Should I continue reading this, these reviews in the, in the Goblin voice? No. 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 <laughs> please don't. No. <laughs> you already sound like you're, you, you already sound like you're losing your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really sound like I'm going insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, next is by LQ... L Q S N I X T. What? This is a dude just mashed his keyboard. I don't know why. How? I don't know. I don't know how a head was washed out. Great. What the fuck? This suicide game with ten stars. The game demoralizes youth and uh, promotes suicide. Windows made an error. Please restart operating system. Excuse me, it promotes suicide? Okay, well. And good uh, and good tea games. You know, like Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk, FIFA and GTA, GTA Definitive Edition. It, wait, 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 hold on. He's a a a a a I was gonna say this, he misspelled edition. How the fuck do you misspell How edition? How the fuck do you misspell edition? <laughs> Uh, are of course low rated. A bunch of sadists. Dude, uh, my biggest question right now is how the hell does it promote suicide? So I guess like any like sad movie, book, game ever promotes depression. Yeah, I guess like uh, fucking fucking uh, DMC promotes Satanism. 
Yeah, I guess uh, Spec Ops the Lion promotes fucking war crimes. war crimes. I guess God of War promotes genocide. I guess God of War promotes uh, anti-religious behavior yeah. or something. DMC promotes Satanism. Doom promotes uh, m mass homicide. <laughs> I was I fighting fighting um, I don't know Satan like. Like yep. you're just going outside and shooting people with guns you find on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone knows whenever you hit someone for chainsaw, like their body, their body just turns into ammo, bullets, yeah. rockets, and you're like ten out of ten logic yeah. right here, dude. Yeah. From... You know, you know. One time I uh, accidentally hit my cousin. He just turned into an <laughs> RPG. He <laughs> just turned into an RPG. <laughs> yeah, he just trans. He just transformed. He just went like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> fucking went with the transformer sound effect. Just turned into an RPG. <laughs> yeah, he just turned into an RPG. <laughs> and I guess for now on, when I hit like my wall or something, it just turns into like a minigun. Nah, you hit your wall and, and, and it turns into a fucking tank. Or into a tank. I hit my house and it turns yep. into an entire fucking fortress. <laughs> <laughs> bro, start hitting your house, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna punch the wall right now, hold like, on. You're like a fucking, the TF, the TF2, not TF2, but like the Overwatch uh, engine, yeah, like you just slap something with the hammer, it immediately like becomes like a fucking super like you, machine. We, like you got a, you got a wrench and just hits the sentry enough and it just turns like, all of a sudden just has like fucking rockets. Like, <laughs> you're literally just the meme of... And the engineer getting stuff. Yep, meet the meet engineer. Meet the engineer, fucking. Bro, hit your wall. I'm gonna call your engine. Okay. I'm a. Uh, I um. I uh punched my wall and uh. Look in Discord. <laughs> Holy shit! It turned to a fortress. <laughs> I but I mean to be fair, these walls are like super weak. Yeah. No. Like I I can. No worry. Now we live in the, in the like the fucking. No, I can like just. I can I can push my head against my wall and just like sort of kind of bends. All right, now uh, let's just uh, do a little bit more reading of the god awful reviews of this. A little bit more literature. Yep, <laughs> some love and literature. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, I'm reading this yep. one. Razo Red. Oh my god. Razor Edge. The the number one horror visual novel experience. They said. Sayo no uta move mu love aru. What the fuck? Oh, I'm gonna look it up on our list. Sayo no uta. I've heard this shit a few times. Yeah, I've, I I know this. It's just kind of boring. Like it's this game. Why does it look like you're in like Doomington or something? Like you know. Like, I think this girl was just like a massive monster flesh or like some kind of witch shit. Like, you know, like whatever she goes, she just makes it like a, this like... You know, you know like uh, in a Doom Eternal, the super gorgeous, how it looks, how it looks. It looks just like this. Yeah, it did you just like, it, it looks like super gorgeous. Yeah. Except a lot, bo a lot more boring since it has no demons. It only has this bitch ass. Like yeah, she just fucking out here. Like she just chilling in the fucking void of just sitting in the void, looking at flesh. Yep. Ah yes, yeah, such a nice view. Mm. Flesh. What Fle human flesh? I wouldn't say it's human. I just think it's like monster flesh. Or something. Flesh in general doesn't matter. Yep. Such a astounding experience. Wonderful flesh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Like ten yeah. out of ten. Even a 12 year old Edgelord writes better than Dancer. Why is it with this game being written by 12 year old? I, I guess like uh, uh, like every time there's like some sort of like sad story in a game, all of a sudden it's edgy and written by a 12 year old. Yeah, like people joked about this with Prototype. Nah, I know. Infamous too. Like, just like accept that there's sometimes gonna be like sad stories in a game. 
there's no reason. Or like a little bit like darker stories. Yeah, just like even darker stories, like, I guess. Like you said. Just be... Like at the end of the day, it's fiction. You cannot put a restriction on free speech. Yeah. Alright, this next one by... 113. 113. Yeah. What? Oh, God. What the hell is this trash? Seriously, I don't understand why people love this game. If I wanted to play a waifu simulator, I would play other games. Literally any other game. Even P PG Golf is better than this crap. My waifus don't act this way. Bro, what the fuck? Do I, do I activate Article 5 of NATO right I mean, now? if you want to, I don't really care. Right now. Dude. Like... Think my wife was don't act this way. Like, do you want that? Like, did the the creator of the game specifically made this game for you, for the girls to be your wife? Exactly. Like, like genuinely. Like, we was this game strictly meant for you and no one else? Like, did Dan Salvato write this game for you? No, so I wanted to. If I wanted to play a waifu similar, I would play any other game. Then go play any other game. Like, why waste your time on a game that you don't want, right? Like, before you like buy a game, you should at least like look at the reviews or just get a grasp of what kind of genre the game is. If it's a like, novel. look at the intro. Or something. Yeah, even look at like, the look intro at or something. Look at the first thirty minutes or twenty or whatever. Like, look at some gameplay to know if you're, like, gonna spend your money wise. Like, some people just, like, spend, like, well over, like, what, $100 on something. And then they put down the game in, like, three hours and say, yeah, I don't, I don't want to play it anymore. Like, dumb fuck, you just put 80 bucks down on the video game. You're gonna say, nah, I don't care anymore. Be more, be more intelligent with your money, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Who the hell put puts like $60 on the game and says um, I, I play for 11 hours, I'm not playing Yeah dude, I bought like for type a couple of like what? Like a year ago and I'm still playing it Like that's what happens when you actually like look at reviews of people's opinion and stuff like that That's what happens when you look at people's opinion then you buy the game to like get a grasp of if you like the game or not Well guys, you just gave me a very bad what? idea What if the next video was just us like reading bad prototype reviews? Um I don't know. <laughs> Your whole challenge is gonna be you and me just reading reviews. I mean, it is free content. I mean, I find yeah, free, content. free content, I guess. And I think this is the last review. Yeah, it's the last review. Uh -huh. There are exactly. Well, let me wait. Huh? Forty-eight. It says there are forty-eight reviews, but like. Wait, you started by most health, but still, most helpful by the user score. Bro, these are these are the most helpful. I mean, the one that says like, "Oh, this game promotes suicide." What the hell? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Let's look at what they by date. Yeah, I think this is it. There are no more wow. reviews. Wow, that's it. You know your game is pretty damn good when like you get only a couple of bad reviews. And even then, they don't make any sense. Yep, like I'm gonna look up something really quick. This game has a 10 out of 10 on Steam. <laughs> On PS4, it's a 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5. Yeah, that's like a double getting rating system in uh, Ozone. The the thing where like people get just like get mm -hmm. games. Though DDLC Plus has a 10 out of 10 on Steam. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess you can say some people are like blinded or something, but like, how many couple thousand people are blinded? I mean. Million, like in the first week, you said they got like one million downloads. Mm -hmm. And there's been how many years since the game's release? A couple years, I'm gonna say. At this point, I think six. 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 Damn. Yep, time flies. Yeah. So I guess, like in this couple years, a couple million people are just like 
brainwashed or something, or just, I don't know. Monica invaded the real world, now she has programmed everyone to like love the yeah. DLC. Well, if she did come to life, then she'd be already after. <laughs> Bro, if she comes to life, I'm running at Mach 50. Bro, you're already... Usain Bolt will be the second fastest. <laughs> Dude, you'd be running 20 times faster than the speed of life. <laughs> 20 put another 50 zeros, then you got my yeah. speed. <laughs> That's a snail. That's a snail. Snails. It's like one. It's like one. Like who's your point one percent of your power? <laughs> this is. This isn't even my final <laughs> form. <laughs> and Wally West will be jealous of you. Bro, Wally West. Wally West can eat my goddamn. Eat dog. your ass. <laughs> Bro, he, he can't even kiss my ass. He he would just look at like some. Vague like semblance in the distance, be like, who the hell is that? Like, I'm a circle 50,000 times around him. I'm a run circles around him. The moment, like, the millisecond the harmonica uh, comes to life, you're just gonna be already there. <laughs> you're already there. You like, imagine just like there's a, like a line, like, harmonica just poof, comes to life, right? And there's like a line to meet her, and you're like at the dead. Like at the very front, like dead front. Right, like you, like you're there, like I haven't slept five nights. <laughs> I have waited for four, five no, thousand five years thousand for years for this. In JoJo reference. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, that'll be a fun time. I yeah. Also, uh, that DMC2 video you, ed you edited, right? I just edited a few posts. Yeah, I know. That's that's like what I mean. That's, that's what I did. Yep, the video is gonna go live in in uh what, four, four hours. hours. You say? Oh, let me look up. It'll go live in four no six, six hours. Uh, okay. It's a full one hour and forty minutes. Just as just uh, us reading the, the dumbass reviews and talk. Hey guys, uh, recording this like while I'm editing the video. I uh, just realized that the video had no actual outro, so uh, so uh, thank you for watching. DDLC has been one of my all-time favorite games and I have been following this game for the last six years ever since it came out ever since I was quite a bit younger <laughs> yeah I played this game when yeah I was following this game and that was at the right age of 10 so this video was honestly like a bit of a fun time to make it replaying the game for the first time in so many years and experiencing the story once again Brought back many, many memories of all that time, so, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed make, making it. And, uh, I'm, I know this is a bit overdone, but, like, thank you, Dan Savaro, for writing this game, like, so much. This game is easy, one, one of the best visual novels ever made. Issue success, uh, Team Savaro on your future projects and installments. Have a great day.